These playgrounds are designed to challenge yourself. First level, don't expect anything too complicated. Simple understanding. Start poking around and see what you can uncover. Let's see here. Okay. Um, it says that this one was super simple because they want to warm you up. Uh, so just right there, a view page source. Again, it's just in the comments. We've seen these many, many, many times before. Google Cat. We may have this one. Okay, cool. So I didn't, I, I didn't dig very deep into that one to, to see if that was really going to be the answer, but I was assuming that it was. Intro 2 is also in progress, so let's go. We'll go ahead and go back and open page source again. This time they didn't put it in that same area. Okay, so here we go again. There's another input, and there's a token there. Username. Okay, so here's where the password state is. Okay, and so this one right here, uh, it looks like it's actually in the page. It looks like they just colored it out the same thing. So right there is the password. So we'll go copy there. And um, right here is the uh, username. So let's go back to this page here. And let's see if we can find those in the page. One easy way that I use is just control A just to highlight everything on the page. So it's pretty easy uh, to do it that way. So control A and there is that information that we were just looking for. Boy versus girl. And let's go ahead and try to log back into this one. And we are in there. We've got another one down. So two down so far. Okay, so congratulations. Go to the next challenge. Uh, intro four. How, did we beat intro three? Okay, well, I guess we'll just keep going then right here. So intro four is going to be, let's open this up and let's go back to the page source again. And we'll see how they're hiding it this time. We It's all the way back here. Okay, so we're currently in the intro. And then we need to go back into playground. You know this stuff. So we're going to go extras, playground, and we're going to grab the JSON out of this. Just going to copy that one out right there. I'm going to go right here, and I'm going to duplicate that tab. And let's paste. Okay. So we've got the third one. All right. Is everybody feeling good? Okay. And we're going to go log in. If I copy and pasted everything right. Woohoo! Okay, so this one is just one of these quick pop-ups that says, hey, password. So uh, what you'll probably notice in here, and we've played enough of these, is that, you know, we type in any uh, answer into this right here. It says unauthorized access. Uh, sometimes when we try to go to these pages, uh, let's see if it will let us go to this page, actually. It looks like it will. Um, sometimes they block out the view source code uh, piece of this. So what you have to do then is uh, there's a, obviously a bunch of different workarounds. Sometimes we go over to curl and download the raw web page uh, of it. So let's see what happened here. So here we go. So this time what we have is we have a bit of JavaScript. And that little bit of JavaScript is just right here. And it's saying, hey, var pass. Pass equals prompt. Okay. And if password equals this then go over to the next level. So uh, we'll just take this password right here out. I'm just going to come back over here and we need to refresh that level. And we have the password now. And boom, we should be able to go to the next level. Log in as, okay, as this name. Okay, so... This is one of those where the username in the dropdown, you can't actually select. Let's do it an easier way. So let's take this one and let's go inspect element, which is just a queue. So this is the input element uh, of this page. And the thing here is that this is all client side, which means we can do a lot of stuff um, when we're able to work over here with the client. And so uh, let's see here. So let's go to... We need to add this name in here. So let me just copy and paste it. I'm going to come down here to one of these options. And so I've got one of these options right here. 
I could duplicate uh, this node and add it in there, but there's really no use for it because the main thing that it's looking for is it's looking for this tag right here. I can just double click on that tag. And then from here, uh, I can paste that option in. Would this work right here before I go forward? Okay, so P0 says no. Well, so the answer is, is that I just named the actual title. I didn't change the actual value. The value is what's going to be sent. So now I've got the value set as this. But what if I come back over here and I just change this to, uh, would this work right here? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so uh, Graft says that, that that should work. All right, okay, okay, okay. So we're going to now close this, and we've got this name. We're going to hit log in, and we're in. You couldn't even find the password using a search engine as search spots have been excluded. There is typically a file that can be found at the root level of every single domain. Let's see here. So we got a robots.txt. So I think that's where they're leading us. I don't know. It could be wrong. Uh, okay. And so we can see here is, is that the username and password is more than likely going to be right here in this file. So as, as folks in here familiar with like the robots.txt, these robots.txt, these are uh, these are files that's just about found under any type of like domain. So you can go to, I don't know, I'm going to just go old school here and go to Yahoo, robots.txt. And every site that you go to, you can actually just come in here, name the title, and robots. And so this says disallow. So this does not want a search engine to pick up on these pages. Well, it's kind of good for us because this is one of the easier ways that we can understand and find things that that company doesn't want us to show everybody. So what we can do is we can come back in here and in this instance, it was on defend the web and it was listed out to extras playground. And then this text file, uh, let's see what we've got here. And there we go. So we have visual master, and then there is some uh, combination of keystrokes there. And then visual master, we're going to hit log in here. And congratulations. But uh, we're just doing a bunch of these just as we go right here today. So view page source. I'm going to see if there's any sort of like password that may be hidden in plain text down there at the bottom. Because I thought we we're getting close to that. Uh, okay, so this one has another password. I doubt it's going to be this easy, though. So this one is saying it's just right here in extras. I'm going to paste this in there. We'll go just to our slash extras. So we've got a bunch of zeros and ones. Okay, do a simple, quick thing like binary to text to see if they would do it. Convert. Okay, so there you go. This one doesn't have as much as a problem. Uh, actually, let's grab the other one here, this one in, and let's just convert. And there is that password. So we should be able to get in. Uh, this next challenge says, again, it doesn't really have anything on here, just a username, password. Uh, so we are going to come right here. We're going to go page source again. And this is email two. And this time they actually have given us a email address. But this one is hidden. So this could have been something that the developer was working on, right? The developer could have been working on this and maybe accidentally left it in there. Let's just come over to the email request and let's try to request it through this command. Let's come back over to this one. Let's go email again here to show it. You know what? Let's try something. I'm going to punch in my own email address there, which was hard coded. We're going to go request. Uh, okay. So we're going to use something new. This is, this one's a bit, was, was a bit fun. Let's go log in and woohoo. Okay. So I think it's starting to get a bit harder now. 
okay, this one is simple. The password is this right here. So I would do the same thing. Hopefully you're doing well. Okay, so we did CyberShelf. Uh, we didn't get anything coming back though. Uh, do I have hash identifier on? Does that come with this? D E N T I F I E R. Oh, cool. Let's take this hash right here and let's come back over to this and let's paste. All right, so I just ran it, hash identifier. Yeah, so possible hash MD5 domain cache credentials, MD4. I'm gonna use um, hashcat and hashcat has some options here. So let's go hashcat dash dash help um, hash and we're gonna go dash M and we're gonna go zero. We're gonna do an A for the attack mode and we're also gonna do zero. I am going to specify the the code here. This one we needed the dash O. We're just gonna name this one cracked rock U dot text. I think it's think it I think it works like this. A force right here. That went really, really quick. That didn't work because I didn't actually use hashcat our temp directory. Uh, we let this thing run. And so what did we get here? We had a hashcat. It now says this thing was cracked. It was cracked with MD5. So woohoo. And we are done with this. So started and stopped. Well, let's now navigate to our temp directory. And I'll just do a little LSL here. And we're going to cat uh, cracked. And here is what we get. And then a colon here or some letters and text here. Extract the login details from this file. Download file. Let's just do a file and let's go to b1.txt. This was the one, this was the file that uh, we just downloaded. A PC bitmap, Windows 3.x. Let's just try it being a bitmap. So we'll do a move on, we'll keep the original one. So let's just copy b1.txt into b one dot bmp so we have something here so let's go over here and we're going to use uh image magic and let's go to b1 dot bmp we have a username and we have a password uh we got paint and then rules okay so paint rules okay i'll take that uh we're going to go paint p-a-i-n-t R-U-L-E-S. It may have been better, and they may have gotten one extra point if they had have used R-U-L-E-Z. All right, so take on the next challenge here. Okay, the target is addicted to World of Peacecraft. What? Peacecraft? What's that? And it will really screw him over if you could get access to his account. You've got access to a target's account email. Okay, so this is this thing right here. There we go. And so we're going to go email here. Is, is that uh, you can come in here. This one says activate account. Okay, so this is for go on this link and enter your predefined password to, to enable your account. So we're going to open it here. Let's just see something really quickly. A view source. Uh, let's see. Action playground. Uh, input name, password. Okay, so there's not much more info, or there isn't that much more information listed on here. And then there is a trash here, and it says password request. Uh, and now this is from a different place. This one's called U Studio. You've requested your password. It is, I am God. Could be cookies too. I saw that as a, a recommendation as well extension and we can come and let's go to uh extensions and let's just do a quick one on um uh user agent only recommends the ones that meet their security we'll put this one on here by ray and then we're going to get rid of it our user agent is going to be secure user agent okay back over here uh let's get rid of all that okay and now let's just go to uh, apply to all windows. All right, user agent is set. 
back over here. Will it work? Okay, fam. Take on the next one. All right, so decrypt the following text. Tipsy cow. I'm just going to follow this right here. We're going to just spit this out. Oh, did it lose my... Oh, no, it didn't. It kept it. Woohoo! And then drop this in there. And we're going to pop it. Uh, rev. Okay, I didn't copy everything there. Uh, but we can easily do this one. We'll just copy this on back out. I know we could probably have already done it in our mind. And WooCrypt is going to be the answer to this one. And let's drop it in. Let's come back over here. And it says, Ugh, we just got an image. Save image as. I'll save this. So here it is. It's just called b4.jpg. Bunch of you saying strings, dump command, stag, cat the image. Woohoo! I love this chat room. You guys are popping. So we'll do this really quick. Let's just do file b4.jpg. And it actually looks like this is going to be a JPEG, which is just, you know, kind of our quick uh, recon, you know, even though this can all be fake too. Uh, strings on b4. Dot jpeg uh we've got a windows photo viewer james is appearing lee bk so that's going to be in lowercase and related voila exif tool and let me do this right here all right we're taking it related sound uh next level is this one called javascript and let's see what we can do here. Let's go here. Let's go our page source again. It does say JavaScript. Let's go back up to that JavaScript. We could. We could run any of that that we wanted to. So come back over here. That's fine. We'll do an inspect here. We're going to go to console and console.log and then password, input password. Cloudflare, just a playground. Oh, look right here. <laughs> so it was actually, that variable was just declared up at the top. Uh, it looks like we're going to have yet another winning.